Moving forward, I'll walk you through the agenda that I had planned for today. Uh, I'll just start about talking about Microsoft List Forms, um, uh, some key attributes about it. I will walk, uh, take a demo and uh, walk you through how you can create it, uh, customize it, share it. Uh, what are some of the ideas that we are considering for future improvements and enhancements? And then I would dedicate some time for feedbacks and uh, get, getting some um, uh, uh, information from your side as well. So um, moving forward, um, um, Microsoft List Forms are a new offering uh, within lists that uh, where you can create custom forms and it helps you to collect and manage information easily directly all from your lists. Um, it is a new uh, feature which is currently rolling out. Uh, so some of you might have already got access to it. Some of you will get access to it in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is primarily suited for scenarios where you would want to take action on the responses from responses that have come up, uh, leveraging the power of lists uh, to create lightweight workflows or streamline your processes. Uh, one example, I, I just put an image here is uh, where you have a scenario. Maybe let us pick an order scenario. You want to collect orders. You leverage the list forms. Um, you collect, you make an order form. Uh, all of the responses start populating in your lists. You can view those orders using our um, out of the box views uh, either as a gallery or you can track your order status on a board view. Uh, you can collaborate on it, uh, uh, comment on it, assign the orders to people uh, or um, uh, mention people. And then you can also set up automations where uh, you can track the status, get alerts when something is delivered or complete. And through this, uh, an end to end workflow becomes uh, uh, created all within this itself. Uh, the key attributes for list forms was uh, uh, is that it is very easy to set up. So we want to uh, uh, encourage uh, all our end users to be able to simply create a form and uh, uh, set up any of these processes or workflows that they want to. Uh, it is completely uh, and natively built inside lists. Uh, and as a consequence of that, it enjoys all the rich column support that list has to offer, um, as well as you can act on these responses and set up uh, processes as I uh, as shared earlier. So uh, this is a, a gist about list forms. I will uh, quickly go through the demo. Uh, just one second. I hope uh, my list is visible. Um, so um, I am uh, for the for the sake of the demo. Uh, I'm just assuming the role of an admin for an organization. So I just want to simplify the asset management for my organization, and I've come to Microsoft List. I already use lists for other scenarios such as expense approvals or taking registration for events or uh, tracking orders, and I've created this new list to manage my assets better. So when I open the list here, I see an entry point on the command bar called forms. Uh, as I said, some of you might be able to see it already. If you're not able to see it already, uh, we are still rolling out. So maybe in the next couple of weeks, you should be able to see this. Um, when you see, the, if you have the relevant permissions on a list, that means if you are a list owner or you have the permission to edit a list, you will be able to see the forms entry point where you can create and manage forms. So when I click on forms, I see the ability to create a new form or I can access an existing form that I or any of my list collaborators might have created. Uh, so uh, for this demo, let me just open this form that had previously created. Uh, this is an asset request form. Uh, when I open the form builder uh, where you can uh, do all your uh, form building activity, I see that I can add a header. I can add a description over here. I also see uh, the fields that, uh, that uh, pop up. Uh, uh, these fields are tightly coupled with the list schema. So for example, if you create a new list and you straight away start from a form, all the fields that you create here uh, automatically gets uh, a sort of transition to the list uh, schema. And even vice versa, if you already have an existing list with some columns, you and you create a new form, the form takes in the schema that you already have. So that way these are coupled and it helps you to map all of the form responses to your list. 
uh, I see all of these fields here. I can do a whole bunch of operations. Uh, I can add new fields. So when I go to the add new field option, I see the options to add multiple types of fields. I can, uh, based on my requirement or scenario, I can choose to add a single line text. I can add a choice uh, field, uh, a person field, a Boolean, etc. Uh, I can also um, rearrange or hide fields. So maybe I can drag drop fields over here to rearrange them. I can even uh, hide or unhide fields uh, from the right pane. Uh, I do not want all of my list columns to be on the form, so I have just unchecked a couple of them uh, because I just want uh, they are for my use case and I, these are the fields that I want the respondent to fill. Um, so here I see that these are the fields that I can add, edit, rearrange, hide, etc. I can also uh, customize the form. So based on uh, if I want to choose a branding of my own choice or the branding of uh, uh, the organization I'm working for, I can just go ahead. I can select from a predefined list of background colors. I can also select a predefined list of theme colors. These theme colors apply to all the elements inside the form. So for example, if you see these icons, the submit button, etc., I'll take the theme colors. Um, I can go back. And uh, yeah, the list form is created. Now I can I just need to share it with the people whom I want uh, to fill in the responses. So I go to the send form here. I uh, today I can share the form as a link uh, to anyone within my organization. So anyone within my organization can uh, if they have the link, they can open the form and they can submit the responses. Uh, form respondents do not get any additional permission as a result of this. Uh, they are only able to submit the form that I have shared with them and those entries get populated on the list. So I just copy the link here. Um, <clears throat> I come to the uh, I share it with the people when people open it. The form. The form uh, uh, the form respondent sees this when they open the form URL, they can fill in all their details and submit. So um, maybe I will just do a sample filling. Uh, maybe I require a keyboard. We can add some specification if needed. Uh, I can set up my manager's name here. So if if I as an admin want to get the approval from the managers, I can uh, put a field here. I can uh, uh, the respondent will fill their manager's name, so they fill in the manager's name an expected date of delivery. So say I want it by 27th. I submit the response. I get a confirmation that my response is submitted. So when I go back to the list and the list data is refreshed, I see this new response coming in over here. Um, and you see that there are a couple of fields that I have pre-populated. The status is still pending uh, and uh, the delivery uh, is as well uh, unselected. So once I've gotten the responses, I can then take actions on these requests. And uh, uh, and the good thing is I can even couple it with automations or the approval flow and set up a whole process for uh, creating an asset management um, tool. So uh, this sort of helps simplify the, the work for me as an admin to collect new requests for assets and get the get, uh, set up an approval flow or just manage attract them better. Um, so uh, uh, coming to some of the other settings that we have, uh, if I want to pause receiving any responses, I can just go to settings and I can stop accepting responses. I can set up a message so anyone who accesses the link after this will not be able to fill any new responses. Similarly, I can take quick actions on my form as well. So I can uh, duplicate the form to create another one. I can delete a form. I can even stop or start accepting responses from here itself. Uh, you can create multiple forms per list based on what your need is uh, and what suits your criteria. So this was a brief uh, of the demo. I will head back to my PPT. I'll just pause in case anyone uh, has any quick comments. Otherwise, I'll move on to the next uh, uh, 
section? There, there's a lot of questions in the chat, but okay, from a timing sure. perspective, then I can let's take focus it, on yeah. them afterwards. Yes, yes. Sure, exactly. I'll field them Thank uh, you, Sahil. after the yeah, thank you. So uh, just coming to uh, some of the further improvements that are under consideration, uh, we have received a lot of feedback and uh, 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 suggestions from the community and some of the areas that we are currently thinking about and are under consideration for further enhancements to this are conditional branching or conditional logic, um, uh, allowing non-authenticated users to respond so that you can share this with external folks outside your organization as well. Uh, supporting additional column types. I see that a uh, few column types are still not supported on the form, and uh, this is something that we are considering, uh, such as attachments and lookup. Uh, additional settings to give you more flexibility in terms of limiting uh, to a single response, auto scheduling when the form starts or stops accepting responses, uh, keeping the response respondents uh, synonymous. Uh, and as well as notifications for new responses coming in. So these are some of the um, items we have under consideration and we will uh, be planning accordingly.